All right, the last video in this section is where we need to talk about the different the type of equation that is called an identity. And if you think about the word identity and like identical, then that will help you also when we get down to the answer. So let's go ahead and let's do our distribution here. First, I'm going to have to distribute out each one of these, the 8, the 7, and also the 2, because remember, all distribution must be done first. So when we do that, we now have an equation that looks like 8w plus 16 minus 3w equals 7w plus 14 plus 2 minus 2w. And once we've done all of our distribution, now our next step is always to collect like terms. So on the left hand side we can collect our w's. 8w minus 3w would be 5w plus 16 equals, on the right hand side, 7w minus 2w would be 5w and 14 and positive 2 would be a positive 16. Look at this, we have an identical statement. Any time that you get down to an answer that is absolutely identical on both sides, and that could be, you could look at things like if you get an answer that says 0 equals 0, or a 2 equals 2, it doesn't matter as long as the left side is absolutely identical to the right side. Then you have that um, identity situation. We call this an identity. Now your answer for this is actually, you could write it in several different ways. You could write your answer as, in set builder notation, as the set of all w's such that w is any real number, or you could write it simply as w equals r for any real number. Remember that funny r is how we would write the set of real numbers.